Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey, and, and this, this is Dixie, Dixie and, and we're Love Park for Life. We've now been on the road for 96 weeks in our truck bed tiny house. And this week we have been making our way all the way through North Carolina to Virginia, where we've got a brand new project started. I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. If you do, be sure and hit that like button and comment below to let us know what you're thinking and to let us know that you're watching us. What you think? Are you gonna make friends today? Are we gonna encounter people today? You hope not. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, okay, there it is. There it is. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Yes. Oh, good morning. Yes. Hi. <laughs> This morning we woke up in the southern portion of the Pisgah National Forest just off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Today we're spending our day driving through the Blue Ridge Mountains to the northern portion of the same forest trying to get a free parking spot closer to our next destination because by Wednesday we'll be in Virginia at our next build site but first we have a lot of adventures we're trying to squeeze in. Y'all hang on! Well, the little free campground uh, that we were headed to tonight is closed. And it's 6.30, so we're not driving around trying to find anything else. Luckily, the parking lot has this beautiful little area. A nice little man-made pond in front of it. Hey Dixie. Hi baby. Is it very early? Is it so early? I know, I know. We're waking up early because we gotta go find rocks. Big purple rocks. That's what we're going for. Or emerald? What are those? Green? Those are green. Mm -hmm. Amethyst or purple. There's a bunch more there too. This place apparently is full of magic. of trying to find a truck stop and sleeping in the parking lot, it's cheaper just to go to a campground and take a shower after a muddy endeavor like today. So, y'all hang on, this is going to be a good <laughs> <laughs> I only heard one side of the conversation on the phone, but it has him very excited. Dude, we're here. Look, this is why I wanted to come. They're all retro campers, and they're all for rent and sale. Oh, wow. This is awesome. <laughs> I told you the love hunt was going to be at home here. We certainly don't have to worry about whether or not we're welcome. <laughs> this should be an interesting night. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I'm just going to park right here.
If you guys are ever anywhere near Laurel Springs, North Carolina, we strongly suggest looking up Wild Woodies. This place is awesome. We have ever stayed, I'm pretty sure. Look at this shower house. <laughs> this place is so awesome, y'all. <laughs> we needed this after today. <laughs> Well, y'all, we are packing up and getting ready to get out of here. We did get to spend a little time in this magical place, though, and get to know the owners and some of the locals at the bar that is attached to this very, very cool campground. All of these tiny little uh, campers and, uh, and rebuilt homes on wheels are for rent for the night and there's all of these boondocking spots for nomads to come enjoy y'all come out here and tell linda that love hut for life sent you these are some really cool people check it out this is gonna be home for a couple of days we made our way into the jefferson national forest in virginia and uh, found this really gorgeous spot i think it would actually be big enough to fit the entire chosen family this place is awesome we're gonna have to remember this one i got it That's a big fire pit. Is this for the best puppy in the world? Is this for the bestest puppy in the whole world? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> okay, just one more. One more. Hey, sit. Sit. Good girl. The next morning we were all anxious to do a little bit of exploring and a little bit of hiking around our camp area we were not disappointed all right we spotted the hillbilly chihuahua in her natural habitat she's looking for cheeseburgers <laughs> You better cross your fingers we get out of here without a giant mud puddle. We'll see. Yeah, there's been a whole lot of rain in about the last 10 hours, mm -hmm. but I think we'll be okay. It was a pretty hard bottomed road. Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> Where are we going today, Shane? We are going to a place that has a shuttle bus. We are going to be turning it into, I'll tell you later. You don't know yet, but it's gonna be great. We're going to a build site today. We are really, really excited for our next adventure and just have to get out of here without getting stuck. So we made it. We are at Angel's Rest Hikers Haven and we're going to be building a shuttle bus here. The bus is on its way, so we're entertaining ourselves until it gets here. This is a really cool place. It is a haven for the Appalachian Trail as any other outdoor enthusiast in this region. Um, 
it's a hostile environment and not an angry hostile environment. You come and, and people are staying in communal buildings. Uh, there's hikers in every direction. Some are nomads, some aren't. Right in here is a living room, TV, and a full kitchen for anyone who wants to stop by and use it. There's we also a shower house, laundry facilities. This place is amazing. I think it's gonna be a fun few weeks and we are parked right over there. Ooh, what's back here? The laundry room. The bus won't be here until tomorrow due to some brake problems. So tonight I cook skitties. You wanna help me build a bus today? Hmm? You wanna do bus stuff? I wanna do bus stuff. I like bus stuff. You wanna go back in your blanket? She says it is too early for this dad. We got the bus! It's on the property! Hooray! This is a shuttle bus, not a school bus, so we have larger windows, which I really like. The interior of them is built a lot differently, and I'm really excited about how the interior of the shuttle bus is constructed. We're going to be turning this bus into an acupuncture and chiropractor studio. The intent is to travel around the country to certain locations and treat nomads. That's right, there's an acupuncture and chiropractor coming to see you guys when I get done building it. Y'all hang on, this will be fun. This is going to be a really, really fun build for a really fun and cool lady. We're super excited about it. And we've got it parked right next to the love hut, so. I don't have to carry my tools. <laughs> and he won't be too far from me. <laughs> There's literally nothing holding that up. <laughs> <laughs> gutted in one day. I'm pretty excited about that. Our intent was to try to preserve the back wall, but we weren't able to do that. The two seams where the metal roofs meet the fiberglass end caps have seams, and those seams are leaking, so you can see there's some rust in a couple spots. Nothing detrimental though. I'm really excited about how good this bus is on the interior. So tomorrow, we start coping with roof leaks and rust. We'll be building this thing out in no time. After a long day of work, our new buddy John decided to take us on a hike. This one had a pretty rewarding side at the end of it, the local Mexican restaurant. Hey, hey, how's it going in here? Good morning. It is going good. We're moving along, getting the rubber coating off of these wood floors. So the fun thing about these shuttle buses is the wood is all, or the flooring is all made of wood, the subflooring is. So we do have some dry rot from the leak we have up here, which makes it super easy to replace because it's wood. I don't I don't call myself a metal fabricator at all. So <laughs> these wood bottoms make it a lot easier. So after we get all the rubber out, we'll spot all of them and then we'll patch in anything that's, that's dry rotted, such as this. And then we can move forward. 
All of this seems to be going much easier than in a schoolie. Oh yeah. I really, really like these shuttles over the schoolies. They're just, they're made to live in. <laughs> <laughs> And in the midst of all of that, we were both super excited when our friend Johnny rolled up in his van for a visit. We were pumped to be able to introduce him to all of the new friends that we're making here at the Hikers Haven. I personally had a whole lot of work to do, but ending the week with old and new friends was an awesome way to wrap it up. Guys, we have had an absolutely incredible week and we want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who was involved in making the week so awesome. And also a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been following us along this far and that have joined us on this awesome journey we call life. I'm personally really excited about this new project we're working on with this shuttle bus. It's a little different. It's not a full conversion for a home. It's something else which means I get to put my heart into it in a little different way. Make sure you drop me a comment below telling me your thoughts on the progress as well as ideas for next week. Now guys, we will have new videos coming out every Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday. But if you need some more, then be sure and check out our Facebook and Instagram page as well, both under Love Hunt for Life. We'll see y'all next week. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye y'all.